Here's a riddle. What do good girl singer Carrie Underwood? He's no good girl, no good for you. And Anne Hathaway, Mike Tyson, Natalie Portman, Russell Simmons, Betty White, Russell Brand, Leah Michelle, and Ellen have in common. Here's a hint from People Magazine. It doesn't make it harder at all. It makes it easier on the turkeys, too. They, they get to live. Yeah, they're all vegan. Hey, Little Rico, I see your dress for the storm we're having tonight. Animal Investigations Unit reports a growing list of celebs who are not eating animals. And one reason is extreme weather. And guess who just joined that list? Former Vice President Al Gore. Yep, Gore's gone vegan. Al Gore, considered perhaps the biggest crusader against global warming ever since his movie, An Inconvenient Truth. Temperature increases are taking place all over the world, and that's causing stronger storms. But then Al Gore himself had to face a really, really inconvenient truth. He was often criticized for talking about climate change over bacon and eggs without addressing the fact that meat production is one of the biggest contributors to global warming. So as a vegan myself, I was thrilled to hear Al Gore is going vegan, hopefully inspiring others to switch to fabulous vegetables and fruits. People, here's the deal. Climate change is real. We see these massive storms devastating every part of the world from the American Midwest to the Philippines. Fact, ice caps are melting. The sea are warming and rising and that's creating more extreme weather and meat production is one of the biggest causes we really need to look at what we eat and how that impacts the world for the sake of our survival for the sake of our survival and the survival of our kids and grandkids microsoft co-founder bill gates now funding businesses that are developing alternatives to meat mayo and eggs former president bill clinton has adopted a plant-based diet because his old bad diet left him overweight and in poor health straight out to vice president of the humane society of the united states paul shapiro paul spell it out for americans what is the connection between meat consumption and climate change Jane, we should be applauding Al Gore for his decision to adopt a vegan diet. The former vice president knows perhaps as well as anybody that global climate change is serious, it's real, and if we want to be serious about combating it, we need to start eating fewer animals and eating more plants, more fruits and vegetables, more vegan food. Jane, did you know that according to the Environmental Defense Fund, that if every American were to skip just one meal of chicken per week, just one meal of chicken per week and substitute it with a vegan meal, it would be the CO2 savings equivalent of taking half a million cars off of U.S. roads. So yeah. for anybody who wants to protect the planet, we need to be looking not just at what type of light bulbs we're using, not just at what type of cars we're driving, but whether or not we're eating meat and how much meat we're eating. Or none at all in my case. And I know in your case, you're 20 years of vegan. Congrats. More, Thank you. Uh, more and more animal farms today. In fact, virtually all of them, 90% of them, 99%, whatever, look nothing like the picture we have in our minds of that happy farm on green rolling hills. The Humane Society of the United States provided us with this aerial video of a massive industrial pig farm. As we look at this, um, what are Paul, those silver buildings, and what are those giant square pools of brown that we see, and how is that connected to global warming? Jane, this is a massive pig factory. This is where about 99% of the pork produced in our country comes from, these concentrated animal feeding operations that have massive sea, a massive sea of manure behind them. When you look at those massive pools there, those are just filled with manure. This is one of the reasons why animal agriculture, raising and killing animals for food, has time and again been pointed out, not just to be a major contributor to climate change, but also air pollution, soil pollution, water degradation, and more. These are some of the reasons why cultural icons like Ellen and Oprah and Bill Clinton and now Al Gore are extolling the benefits of eating more plants and eating fewer animals. Now, this is not necessarily in that facility. Uh, I'm not suggesting that whatsoever. That was an aerial. I don't even know what state it's in. But this is what's inside the factory farms in general. These are pig gestation crates where pigs are kept in crates the size of their bodies, uh, never able to turn around. They cannot turn around in those crates. Uh, President Obama today conducted the annual pardon of the turkey, the turkey. Uh, maybe a couple at the White House. It's a tradition that keeps yeah, a couple of turkeys off the table each year. But what about the millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of turkeys who are subjected to, according to critics, institutionalized cruelty in factory farms? You know, I'm so happy little popcorn got pardoned. But what about 
nine billion other farm animals, Paul. The pardoning of these turkeys is a, is a particularly interesting phenomenon because it, pardoning implies that these animals have committed some crime. Of course, these animals have committed no crime. The real crime is the institutionalized violence and cruelty that the turkey industry inflicts on tens of millions of these birds every single year. Like you, Jane, I'm glad that these two turkeys will be escaping the knife, but we need to consider the fact that they don't need a pardon. What we need is a better attitude, a type of live and let live attitude, an attitude where our relationship with other animals is no longer just based on violence and domination, but rather is based upon compassion and respect. And it would help us get healthier. Look at Bill Clinton. He's so much healthier now that he's adopted a plant-based diet. And by the way, we could solve world hunger like that because all the water and the grain that goes into producing animals could feed the rest of the humans on the planet. Thank you, Paul Shapiro, Vice President of the Humane Society of the United States. Up next, George Zimmerman. Ugh, we all know him. He's in a heap of trouble right now. You'd think he'd be trying to keep a low profile, not a chance. You will not believe how many guns cops say they found. When they arrested him last week, you won't believe the amount of ammo. What's going on? He's in my house breaking all my I asked him to leave. He has his freaking gun breaking all of my stuff right now.